Hello, this is a video tutorial with DMV Photo Booth Rentals for Sale, and today we're going to talk about um, print layout in DSLR Remote Pro. And we do not need to have the camera connected to access print layout interface, but what we do need to have connected in order to see an actual printout of a print of the print layout is uh, our printer. And I'll talk more about those uh, connections in another tutorial. But first things first, we're going to open up the software and we're going to ignore the not connected uh, warning. And we're going to go right to our photo booth shortcuts and we're going to click on print layout, which is right in between advanced settings and printer setup. And as you can see here, we already have our own uh, layout loaded. And this is our 4x6x2 by by split uh, layout so we can get replicate the same four images on two different photo strips so the printer will cut this in half and we have our you know logo and website on our basic uh, footer for our basic footer right and as you can see there's numbers here you know there's uh, you know different color images here and you know, things that you can click on and buttons all types of things so I'm gonna break down each of these things for you and the first thing is these these are pixels these are numbers in pixels and these control the position as well as the size of the preview over here right so and there's only really four of these that you really need to care about angle just controls the rotation which I will show you a little bit of but left top width and height are the bread and butter so left controls where the where on the layout that the it will the image will start. So image one will start right here at 38 pixels. It will start right there and then from the top it'll be 38 pixels from the left and then on top it means that it will start 38 pixels, 39 pixels down from the top. right? And that's all you need to position uh, this photo wherever you want. But then you always also have width and height. Width controls how wide in pixels the image will be. And height controls how high the image will be. All right? In pixels. So we can go into here and see how to uh, see how these things work by changing some of the numbers around. So you can't click here and change them. You have to click this little three button button here. And it'll pop up right here. And you see, let's change some of these numbers around. We're at 39 now. Let's change it to 50. Move it a little bit. Let's change this 50. This 565 to 5. And you see how that goes away. And that's how uh, these things work. You know, it's just that simple as, you know, clicking on here and working with the numbers. And even angle, I can just type in, you know, 180. Uh, that's not 180. There we go. 180. And it flips it upside down. So it's rotating it. So let's just leave this at 0 press OK and if you're not good with numbers and, and don't want to think about you know too much too many numbers and have to worry about pixel dimensions and stuff like that what you can do what this software allows you to do is actually do have a more intuitive option by literally clicking on each and every one of these photos and dragging them wherever you want them to go and making them whatever size you want to make them Right? which is very helpful for people who don't want to be involved in this numbers game over here. So with that being said, we're going to go to the next thing, which is the next set of uh, buttons and clickables, which are down here. The first thing is show background color. And right now we have a white background, as seen right here. So I'm going to keep this on. I want to change the color. Let's go in here. They have pre selected colors for you and you can also define your own color but let's just pick a, a random color right now I'm just gonna pick uh, let's say a dark maroon red or something like that hmm and it doesn't show up I can tell you why is because the next setting we have a show background JPEG which is a custom background that we imported which this so this whole thing here is a custom background that we imported so we could have our own logo and website image here right so if I just click this off the maroon will show up. So I'm going to change this back to white. All right. 
and the import background is a lot of you know it gives you a lot more freedom to do whatever you want you can make your own background and customize it how you see fit All right so you can click on here and go to a dialog box and you see we have a, a background that's already here and we can upload this one I don't need to upload it because I already have one uploaded and uh, but the catch is the name of the file has to be background.jpg because the software won't know how to reference it otherwise there we go and uh, next is show overlay uh, PNG dot PNG this is the same thing you need to have if you want an overlay you need to have this uh, file extension and, and name right so you can import an overlay and what an overlay is it would lay an image a PNG a trend with that has uh, transparent spots in it so you can see through it uh, over top of this layout you can you know create fanciful borders like a fanciful border with different types of design and lay it over these images so it'll um, create a, a cooler effect and you can import that by just clicking here and, and, and uploading it into the software uh, but we don't do that very often we only do it when the client uh, you know has a package where they will ask for that but the next thing which is also cool which you know eliminates uh, possibly having to you know create a uh, customized background which is you know captions right I can make captions in the print layout so I can go let's see let's go into edit captions here and I got one caption I can have up to eight captions so I can just start typing right here new caption and it appears right up right there you can change the font and font size by clicking on it. I just clicked on it, it's taking a while, you know, to Babis New. All the fonts that are on your computer, you have access to in here. All right? All different things. And you can change where it is by moving it around and with the numbers. So you can change the font color. And uh, you can move it around in here, or you can press OK and move it around. Or move it around in here. Change the size. Rotate it. Do whatever you want. So let's delete that. All right? It's just that simple. And you can click on show captions, show captions, or click it off. You know, either one. And you can show the printer margins or you cannot show the printer margins. So the actually the file is that big, but the printer cuts it off there, right? Very, very, very cool. And from here, you can go into printer setup. You can print a test page. You can import a layout. You can export a layout, and do all types of have all types of presets, which are uh, you know things that are a lot more in detail. But I just want to give you a basic overview of the print layout. And uh, with that being said, I, that's the uh, with that being said, that's the end of my tutorial, and I thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day.